Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's xdeadman18 here. Now let's jump right into it. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this epic survival house. It's a log cabin styled home. And it's really nice and cheap to build in survival. It's also not very large, so if you want to make more of them, it's easy because they don't take many resources. The inside here is very open. We've got torches to light up the place. We've got a nice little attic up here. Now let's jump right into building with our first step of laying the foundation of the house. What you want to do is you want to take these spruce logs and place them one every three blocks, or every f the fourth block, the three in between. And you want to do that until you have four in a row here. Next you want to do it one over here so you get this L shape, and then put it right back here to get boxed off, kind of like a B. Then you want to complete the square, and put one every three, and then one right here in the middle. And then you get this kind of boxy house shape, It's that's shape of the house that's what your house is going to look out then you want to take dark oak planks and lay them in between these blocks oh the only one you do not want to lay it in between is the first one and you want to leave a gap there now this first thing what you're going to do is you're going to break these three blocks grab some spruce logs and file them in like that that's going to be the main foundation for that window right there you want to take your stripped dark oak wood and you just want to cover this little open area first just so you can put your door down Next, you want to build up these pillars to be four tall on each and every one of them. This is going to be what is used to hold the roof. Well, it's Minecraft, so things can kind of float, but theoretically. And it's going to be just for decoration around the interior and exterior of the house. Now that we've got these laid out, you can put glass pane on these three over here, and you're going to want to do it on these three over here. The one thing I would like to mention before I put anything else down is these windows can be put here, can be put there. I just think that the best layout for it is over here, but you use your creativity and do whatever you want with these window layouts. Next, you want to cover these all with wood. No, that's the wrong kind of wood. Uh, with dark oak. You just want to do this for the entire sections of walls that you did not do, and make sure to outline the door as well. You always want to cover the windows as well, just so that it gives it a more of a concealed vibe. Instead of having like logs here and then wood here, it would make it would look kind of wacky. So I try to always set it up with the same blocks top and bottom. Now that you've got this laid out, you want to go across the top and set another layer of logs laid across the top of your windows and walls, just to give it that more of like a structurally sound build. And now that's the main frame for the window. And as you can see, that's why I chose to do logs at the bottom and logs at the top. It's just so it kind of all feels like it's one piece. Now you just want to finish crossing over like this, and you have the main layout of your build. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to fill in the floors real fast. I'll see you guys in just a second. Now that we are done with the floor, I can begin with the roof part. This is the most important part, is getting this set up right. You want to go three up, three up on this corner and in the middle over there and then just two up right over here and now what I'm thinking I think these are four if I'm correct yeah these I think these are four and you want to take just normal spruce planks and lay them out like that and open the three and give it kind of this angled shape like a triangle now for this one you're just going to want to do a single layer like that actually no we're going to go all the way across like that That's, as you guys can see it's kind of starting to shape the roof of the house now you just want to take cobblestone stairs, or stone stairs, depending on which one you prefer or have more of. You just want to kind of lay them out like this. The reason I'm not putting a block under them, and just setting it on the block, is because that will take up a lot of space in the attic, and it will make it a lot harder for us in the future. So it's just take some time just to you know, just place your cobblestone stairs all along the roof. You want to make sure for this part that you play it extra safe, because that's about as far as you want to go. What you want to do is kind of get this whole top like extended part let's call it a valley and you want to get that set up right so that's like right right here you just want to kind of want to pop there you go as you can see i got this side set up right and it does not look as right as that one if you didn't notice i'll show you how to fix that in just a second Now, to get this end part done, you just want to go up each layer like this, turn.
turn around and put another stair at the bottom, like that. And that gives you kind of the overhang design look. And then do the same thing to both sides. And I'm showing you this side first because this one's going to be a lot easier than the ones over there because they're overlapping kind of weird. So that's what that side's going to look like. It's not done yet though. Over here, this is when you got to be kind of careful. This first, first part is going to be simple enough. Same thing as we did on the other side. So now that I've completed that, I come up here. I know this part that's kind of whack because you got to make sure that you got this part set up right. And we went to one over. You got to make sure that it looks like this. If it does not look like this, go back, rewind, and make sure you got everything in the right spot. You want to place each and every one of these correctly or else the house is not going to come together perfectly. So you always just want to be really careful. Now we've got the finished roof done. Our next step is just going to be decorating the outside and a little bit of the interior of what I showed you. You just want to grab some dark oak leaves and some flowers. What you want to do for this part is to kind of wrap it around like this. Just to give that window more popped out. When you look out the window, you'll see it. Over here, you want to place it in the middle of this wall after wrapping around. And then you kind of get the window popped out. Now you, for this part, you want to wrap around like that. Give it kind of like an L, a backwards L shape to kind of just latch onto the window. Same thing with over here. You just want to wrap it all the way around. Now, what I like to do is I like to set up a fence here that kind of just reaches to here. And then I set up a gravel trail. Throw down some flowers. You guys can do it however you want. That's just how I prefer to do it. And I think I'm going to do it in the other build and just do this. It just makes the house feel a little bit more lively. Now once you come inside, as you can see, we have a lot of open space up here. The reason, the way I was able to compact it upstairs on the other house was to do this sort of pattern. What you do is you just connect it by each of the intersections of the log pillars. And it gives it a more formal look. It makes it look a lot more real than it usually does. And something I would like to shout point out is right here you could leave this spot open and hang like a chandelier or something down from here, some sort of light source and really add onto the build that way. But that's all up to you guys. I'm just showing you the base design of the house. Now what you want to do is you just want to kind of fill in all of these all these little gaps in the hole here, except for this first one. I'm gonna do something with the first one so you can access the roof. Once you've cut off all of these, you want to come down here and you want to grab a staircase. And you want to start right under the window. You want to break these blocks so you can get up. And you want to have it, nope, not right there. You want to have an upside down one. And then a staircase like this. From here you can build around it. So the fence down, coming up to here. So you can go up and down your staircase without any problems. Now you cover it up like that. Now we've completed the um, staircase to get to the attic, but now we got to light it up. You don't have to do this exact sort of lighting pattern, but this is the way I prefer it. And I just put one on the staircase so it lights up the staircase. And we put it there. We put one there, and one there. You want to add on these little, these little guys. What you do is you set them up like this on that one. For this one, you go one, two, one. For this one back here, this is going to be the one that we're getting the basis of our ideas off. You go one, two, one, two, three, one, two. That just gives it kind of a more pop look. I feel like I like it a lot more with than without it. And there you guys go. You have completed your house. As you can see, it's perfectly done, ready for you to move into. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below for some more epic Minecraft content because it really does help out the channel a lot. Hope to see you all in the next episode.